The graphite powder. Yeah, uh, I received them in uh, in Ashburnham, and I didn't open it, so it hasn't been. The seal has not been broken. Okay, and we have the certificate of analysis from the lab. This yeah. is ultra ultra high purity. So what, as Alex mentioned, what we're doing now is we're going to test for magnetic activity on the white paper with neodymium magnets, and uh, we expect there to be no magnetic activity. Because, as we all know, carbon is not a magnetic element. And if there is, we're in trouble. And then after we check, then we'll be testing the treated sample to see if magnetic activity develops, as it did in our previous two tests of November 24th and December 2nd, 2006. Okay, so we've, we've opened the fresh graphite powder on uh, this little white container. And we're going to now transfer a uh, small spoonful to the bamboo uh, uh, cup. cup. And we're using uh, actually a small gold-plated uh, spoon, again, which is not uh, magnetic. So we just put a small sprinkle here. And then we'll put this on the... Just a, a small amount, Alex. Yep white paper like that. So this is a neodymium magnet, many times stronger than a conventional magnet. So this is it. And we'll start from the Let's top. go to underneath first, John. Okay, underneath. If there's any jumping or moving, I mean, I don't see anything. How about Woody? No, no. Okay, there seems, apparently there's no movement. It's pretty static. Yeah, which is so this again is the sample of pure graphite powder from the batch that we'll be testing. And there appears to be no magnetic activity whatsoever. Yeah, we hold it on top to see if it jumps up to attach to the magnet too. And again, as far as we can tell, there's no... Then let's put that sample into... No magnetic Should we put that activity. into one of the little jars? So, well, we can put it into a coin. Okay, now for step two, we're going to transfer some of the graphite powder from the uh, bamboo cup. It's actually from the same sample we've just labeled as a control. And a little gold spoon, and we're putting it here onto the copper disc. That's more than enough. Okay, that's so more than good. enough, yeah. All right. Okay, so that's step two. Okay. Fresh graphite powder on the copper disc. Okay, so let's suit up and then we'll, we'll shift to another perspective. Okay, now we're ready to uh, charge the graphite powder on the copper plate. Woody is attaching the lead to the uh, carbon rod. Again, today is the 13th of January. It's about what time now? It's about 11.15. Yeah, 11.15. And we have switched from four to three batteries, three batteries. to accommodate the uh, thinner electrode, I would guess. Right, guys? Would you say so? Yeah. We may switch back to four later, but we're going to try this anyway. So are we ready yet? We had to go over to the hardware store and yeah. patch together some uh, extra stuff, but it seems like we're back on track. What are your gloves? Or are, you, are you not? Yeah, they're right here. All right. Okay, we're ready. All right. Again, we're charging the pure graphite powder on the high-quality copper dish with a pure graphite rod. And as we saw before, we checked and there was no magnetic activity. So we're going to see if uh, magnetic activity appears with our new sample. All set? All set. We're recording.
Was it getting hot? Oh, yeah. All right, Alex, how many hits was that? Did you record? Uh, I'd say about eight hits. So let's keep track. Okay, that was round one. We're going to turn off and then pick up once the electrode cools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, quite a bit of the, what we're calling the crust, <clears throat> appears to be very thin, either oxide or metallic. Correct. Um, that was after 40 strikes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, when the electrode cools, let's do it again, and I'm going to put the lens over the camera so we can see the arc even more carefully, right? More in detail. How's the electrode doing? Is it ready to uh, recharge? Yeah. Okay, let's give it a go then. It's let's go again. There's still some left to it. These will be the second 40 or so strikes. Yeah. We're going to record that with the lens cap, with the shade lens over the camera lens, okay? So we can see the actual spark. How many? I don't know. I almost tried. <coughs> 44. All right, so we're up to about 84? Yeah. Okay. All right, this is the iron, I'm saying iron, sorry, graphite powder that we tested, okay, actively with the magnet. Let's do active magnet. You can see it's magnetically charged, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alex is holding a neodymium magnet underneath, active. Actively yeah, do it. It's going all over the place. It's absolutely magnetically charged. This was after 120 strikes with a 48 volt graphite electrode. It was pure, 100 percent, pure, 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 pure carbon powder. Now it obviously is magnetized. The rod is 100 percent pure, 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 and the copper dish is a sputtering target, as pure copper as you can find on the planet. And the previous uh, clip showed the charging, now we're showing the magnetic testing. And Alex is going to label the sample. And it's fun, right? Yeah. It's called Fun with, fun with Carbon. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be sealed in an envelope and then sent to the materials lab in New Hampshire for, for study. <laughs>